and we're recording. There we go. Hello, welcome to Luke's English Podcast. Happy New Year. Welcome back to Luke's English Podcast. I've just said that twice, haven't I? Hello, welcome to Luke's English Podcast. Welcome back to Luke's English Podcast. Four times now, but I'm not going to start the video or audio recording again because this is one of those episodes where I've decided I'm going to just press record and I have certain rules. The rules be, well, prop just one rule, really. The rule is I'm not allowed to start again. I've pressed record and I have to just keep going even if I make no sense or even if I just don't uh, decide that it's terrible. I have to just keep going, okay? Because sometimes I'll do that. I'll start the recording. I'll start talking and then after about a minute, I'm like, ah, no, this is terrible. Start again, start again. I can't start like that. But no, not this time. I'm just setting myself one of those rules. It's kind of, it's one of those episodes. It's a rambling episode, okay? If you're familiar with my podcast, you'll know all about that. If you're not familiar with my podcast, then, well, you can just listen or indeed watch the version on YouTube and find out uh, for yourself. Anyway, hello. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah? All right, good. It's January, isn't it? January 2023. 2023? Really? That's not a real, that's not possible, is it? How can it be 2023? That's a, that's, that's not a real year, is it? That's, that's just a year from a science fiction film. That's the kind of thing they put at the beginning of a science fiction film, 2023. Like, you know, Los Angeles, 2023. Wow, so futuristic. But here we are. This is it. So this is what I say every January. I can't believe it's 2022, 2019 or whatever. Uh, It's like something from a science fiction film. I say that every time. I'm constantly surprised at the, the, the year that we're in, which must mean that I'm getting old or something. I don't know. But how is, how is it for you? How's 2023 going for you so far? I'm recording this on the 3rd of January. So yes, right at the beginning of the year, 3rd of January. And it's, it's a kind of a weird time, isn't it? The very beginning of the year. I don't know where you are, by the way, listening to this. You might be in the Southern Hemisphere, in which case everything's upside down, isn't it there? And January is sort of like the, I don't know, does, how does it feel in January for you? For me, here, um, January, the beginning of January, it's, a, it's an odd time because you've, it's the middle of winter, first of all, more or less, the middle of winter. And so um, the days are very short. It's very dark. Often it's very grey, quite cold and bleak out there. It's a weird time. Um, and also you've, you've probably had the holiday period, Christmas and all the rest of it. And... Um, and then January, yes, it's kind of a fresh start, isn't it? It's a chance to t- have a fresh start. And you think, right, this is it, the start of a new year. Um, and maybe during the holiday period or something, you've been kind of thinking about what, uh, you know, how you'd like to improve your life. And you think, right, January, here we go. It's time to put my best foot forwards. I'm going to be the best version of myself that I can be. No more bad habits. I'm going to try and be the best version of myself starting this January. And then you get to something like the 3rd of January when you kind of have to go back to work or when all the holiday stuff is gone. And then, okay, here we go, back to life again. And you think, right, time to be the best version of myself. And then you think, oh, God, there's too much pressure. Too much pressure to be the best version of myself. Ah, I'll just be a normal version of myself. It's quite hard. Is it, is it hard? It's not really that hard. It's okay. It's not like I work in a coal mine and get paid next to nothing. You know, it could be worse. It could be so much worse. Um, um, it's good. Let's, let's put a positive spin on things. Beginning of the year. Okay, let's make things great for 2023. Now then, this is a rambling episode. Okay, and I'm just going to talk for at least an hour. And Yes, this is a podcast for learners of English, okay? And I don't have a specific thing to teach you in this episode, no specific grammar point or vocabulary point, no specific language learning um, advice or anything like that, 
None of that stuff. Instead, I'm just going to talk to you like this, partially or hopefully mostly off the top of my head, which means spontaneously. I'm just going to talk to you for about an hour, okay? And all you have to do is stick with me, listen to me, and just let all those words go in, okay? Just let the words go into your head. Just absorb the English, okay? I'm saying the English, you could just absorb it like that. Nom, 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 nom. Eat the English and uh, it will it will stay, some of it will stay in your brain, okay? I promise you, some of that English will stick. And then when you're trying to speak English or when you're thinking about speaking English, some of those little phrases and rhythms and uh, collocations and little sort of f- bits of grammar and stuff will come back to you and it'll help with your general fluency and stuff it'll help me to help you to think in english listen listen listening 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 the five l's listening 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 and listening okay you've got to do loads of listening if you want to speak uh, uh this language because you have to get that imprint of english uh, on your brain now those are not really scientific terms uh, uh, that i'm using there I, I'm kind of just using layman's terms uh, to describe uh, the process of language acquisition through uh, regular listening. But uh, I do believe it works. And that's after years of teaching English, many years of experience, over 20 years of English teaching experience, uh, about more than 14, how many years? About 14 years of uh, doing this podcast um, and, uh, I mean, who knows, maybe I've just been doing it wrong for 20 years. I don't know. But the understanding that I've gained is that obviously you've got to study the language, but to an extent, just engaging with the language actively, listening to it being spoken and doing plenty of reading of it is extremely healthy and very good for your English. So stick with me, listen to my words, it'll help. And hopefully I can maintain your interest and focus throughout this episode. Now, I do have some notes on the on my computer here, which uh, I'm probably going to start reading from soon. Okay. Uh, it's always a bit of a, oh, I've talked about this before on the podcast. It's always a bit of a tricky one with the transcript or notes versus spontaneous speaking. Which one should I be doing? I end up doing a mix of the two. But anyway, during the during the Christmas holiday, which was very nice, by the way, uh, thanks for asking. During the Christmas holiday, I was thinking about, uh, you know, uh, what am I going to say on the podcast? Lots of ideas came to me, and I was quite keen to just switch on a microphone and let all the thoughts and stuff tumble out of me, uh, tumble out of my head. And that means just kind of fall out, come out. I'm opening the window here in my pod room so that my neighbours can listen to Luke's English podcast as well. Um, so anyway, yes, uh, during, I, I, was, I was ill, right? I was ill with like a horrible case of flu um, for a couple of weeks and had some holiday time and stuff like that. And uh, so no podcasting for me. I haven't really done this like this since the beginning of December. I did manage to upload and publish some episodes in the meantime. Uh, but most of those things were recorded sort of at the beginning of December. So for me, it feels like I've gone a whole month without being able to do this podcast. And after 14 years of doing this, probably every week at least, at least one episode a week, it's become a real habit for me. And it's almost kind of a compulsion now. And if I don't get the chance to do a podcast, to record something, to express myself like this on the podcast for four weeks, then I start to go a little bit mad, a little bit crazy. Um, Again, not scientific terms, but I start to get a bit frustrated and maybe I need to get it out. So it's quite cathartic for me doing this podcast. Um, So I was saying notes. So yes, I thought to myself, right, okay, I'm going to do a rambling episode at the beginning of January, just to kind of get the year off to the right kind of start to establish the aims of the podcast, which is what I always do in January. I just kind of touch base with my listeners, to coin a phrase, and just kind of re-establish what this podcast is and what this is all about, and just connect with my audience, okay? And that's what I've been thinking about. 
uh, during the holiday. And also while sort of recovering from flu, I w- I've just been keen to get back onto the podcast and, and talk to you. Okay. But then what happens is when I have ideas, I kind of note them down. So I was on the train the other day, coming back from England with my wife and daughter. They were sitting together. So I had a bit of time to myself on the train. And so I got onto my phone and opened a document on my phone and started writing some ideas down uh, because I thought, I've got all these things I want to say and I better put them down. Otherwise, I'll forget them. And then what happens is I end up writing everything word for word like a script. And then I've written it all in advance and it's not spontaneous speech, which is what I like to present to you. Um, Anyway, never mind all that. The fact is I do have some stuff written, um, which I'm now going to read from. And I suppose the advantage for this is that I can show this text, these notes and stuff on the page for this episode on my website. And also I can show the text stuff on the video version as well. I can put that on the screen. So you can read with me as well. Okay, so this isn't a full transcript because all of this stuff, I've, all this stuff I've been saying, all this waffle, all this rambling that I've been doing for nearly 12 minutes now, this is not scripted. But the, let's, let's just say the scripted portion is going to start in just a moment. And uh, there'll probably be moments when I break off from this script and talk about other stuff. And some of you are going, just sh- shut up and get on with it which is a strange thing to say to, to, to me doing this podcast in which you, you know, it'd be weird to t- tell me to shut up and continue. Stop talking. Now start talking again, just better. <laughs> okay, I'll do that right now. Okay, so hello. Now, if you're new to this podcast, hello there. I'm Luke and I'm an English teacher and comedian from England And I've been doing this podcast for learners of English for about 14 years now, which of course you know because everyone listens to this podcast, don't they? Uh, So you can use my podcast to improve your English in various ways. But the main thing is that it can help you do more listening, which is essential for acquiring natural and instinctive English. And I'm already repeating myself. Anyway, I'll continue. So what I mean by instinctive English is that you can get an instinctive feel for the language by listening to it a lot. And this is what you get from simply engaging with English in spoken form or written form by reading and focusing on understanding it. That's the the main thing. Okay, it really helps if the process is fun. And so I do try to keep things funny. Is this episode funny so far? I don't know. Only I don't know. But anyway, I try and keep it funny or at least just entertaining and interesting as much as possible. Okay, that's one of my aims is just to try and hold your attention. So this is episode number 805 and it's called A New Year Ramble 2023. I think that I'll just stick with that basic title, A New Year Ramble 2023. And a ramble, in this case, am I going to, do I have to explain what a ramble is again? I do, don't I? Because there'll be new people like, what is ramble? A ramble is when you just kind of talk with no particular aim. You go this way, you go that way. So I'm just going to talk to you for at least an hour. Just listen to my voice for the duration of the episode. And remember, all the words and sentences I'm saying are all going to go into your brain and a lot of it will stick there. This is perhaps more effective for your English progress than slaving away over a grammar book or staring at word lists, which is what a lot of people do. They just assume, okay, I'm going to learn English. I better just open a grammar book and work really hard. It'll be horrible. Or I just, I've got word lists and I just, just desperately stare at them and hope that it it works. Well, you've got to do, you've got to engage with English in a meaningful way. Okay. Which means listening to someone communicate through that language. So just listen to me, follow my words, stick with me and hopefully enjoy it all. Let the rest happen naturally because your brain is a natural language learning machine. Okay, so for this episode, I've written some notes which I'm reading from sometimes and some stuff is spontaneous and a lot of it apparently is is repetition. But, you know, repetition is important in language learning. So on one hand, sorry for repeating myself in these ways. But on the other hand, you're welcome. There you go. A bit of repetition for you. So 
the main thing in this episode is that I'm just going to have a ramble. That means talking and talking, sometimes going this way, sometimes going that way, moving from one topic to another and one thought to another, trying to express myself as my thoughts tumble out of my slightly disorganized head, okay, um, without having a very clearly defined structure. As I said, I'm just going to talk to you for a while. Join me. I think you get the idea. So, new listeners, a fresh start and learning English with Luke's English Podcast in 2014. I've written 2014 in my document. It's 2023. <laughs> like I'm there going nine years ago. It's 2014, isn't it? No, no, no. It's 2013. What? Not even 2013. 2023. I'm confused. It's too early in the year. I need at least a few more weeks to let things settle down a bit, and then I'll know what's going on. Um, so in January, I find that new people start listening to my podcast. Hello. I wonder if all those new people who started listening to this about 15 minutes ago, I wonder if they're still here, because they might be going, this is just a madman ranting and raving. What, what is this? There's method to the madness, believe me. Also, um, people return to the podcast and generally refocus on learning English and kind of turn over a new leaf. To turn over a new leaf means to, yeah, make a fresh start and take a, a new approach and maybe a better attitude to doing something. Okay, so you might think in, in maybe in December you're like, oh God, my English isn't good enough. Oh God, I need to improve my English. And so you search for English uh, podcasts, and you've, there are lots of them these days, aren't there? There are. There are a lot these days, which I kind of makes me think, oh, God, maybe I'm irrelevant now. There's so many other podcasts. Uh, but no, I mustn't let those sorts of negative and limiting thoughts um, infect my brain. Anyway, so you go onto your podcasting app or YouTube or something, and you look for a, a podcast to help you learn English, and you've discovered this. Okay? And uh, so, good. Keep listening to me. Did you get the message? <laughs> Keep listening to me. Don't stop listening, please. Um, New Year's resolutions. Many of you will have made New Year's resolutions. That's where you're like, right, this year I will improve my English. Or this year I'm going to go running every day. I'm going to run. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. It, maybe running is, is not horrible. I need to try it. But I live in the middle of Paris and running here is difficult. He's like, run, run, run. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh get out of the way. Oh, oh, sorry. Meanwhile, Parisians just, you know, don't care. They don't get out of the way. That's life in Paris. That's the reality of it. It's difficult to run in Paris. I, don't, I need to do more physical exercise. Anyway, maybe you've made a resolution to, to run more or do more exercise. Maybe you're even running now. In which case, that's it. Keep going. Go on. Keep running. Left foot, right foot, right, left foot, right foot. I nearly said left foot, right foot, right foot, left foot, but that's definitely not how you run, is it? He says, closing the window. That's enough free content for my neighbours. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Not left foot, right foot, right foot, left foot. That's, that's like running and hopping and skipping. Maybe you are. Maybe you're skipping down the street because you're like, yippee. I love listening to Luke's English podcast. Left foot, right foot, right foot, left foot. Skip, hop, skip and a jump. Maybe you're running. Maybe you're in the gym. Just on a cycling machine or a rowing machine or some other simulated form of transport. I've always thought that's a bit odd, going to the gym. And you, you essentially get on a device, which is normally, in, in, it would normally be used to travel somewhere, like a bicycle or just running on, on a treadmill or a rowing machine or whatever it is, or the stepping, the stepper, stepper, the stepper thing, you know. Normally, those actions are have a function, you know, and it's to get you from A to B. But when you're in the gym, you just stay in the same place and just do all the exercise. Oh, no. <laughs> and you're thinking, Luke, do you not understand the, 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 the concept of a gym? 
I'm like, I understand. It's just, it seems a bit odd to me. But, you know, it's a good thing. It's good for your heart health and um, and all that stuff. And it's good for your mood, isn't it? Exercise, physical exercise. It's, it's really important. So maybe that's one of your resolutions. Um, on this podcast, I like to make a fresh start every January, 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 uh, and say some things on the podcast to explain what this is, how it works, and how you can learn English from my content. This is the 14th time I've recorded a New Year episode. It's my 14th January on this show. So I've done quite a lot of episodes in the past welcoming new people and talking about how you can learn English with this podcast and what the aims of this pod project are. I've done that lots of times before in January, previous Januaries. January or January. January. I actually ch normally say January. So I've, I've talked about how you can specifically learn English with this podcast before lots of times. So instead of repeating the same things again, I'll suggest that you just check out some of those previous episodes. And, and it says in my notes now, pick some episodes to recommend. Okay, so if I go into my episode archive on my website and do a command F search, uh, I'm going to search for how to learn English. How to learn English. Yes, I did do an episode called How to Learn English. It's episode 669. So you could listen to 669 because in that one I give you um, I give you as much advice about learning English across the four skills. Hold on a second, there's a problem on my website. How to learn English, giving you as much advice as possible possible about learning English across the four skills of reading, listening, writing and speaking, full transcript available. So you could check out episode 669 and the summary for that uh, in my episode archive on my website has now been corrected. I didn't realise there was a little mistake there. Whoops. Um, just trying to find the archive again now. teacherluke.co.uk episodes. So there's episode 669 and maybe another one is what is uh, Luke's English podcast and how can it help you with your English? That's episode 568. Okay, and that the summary of that is what are the aims and objectives for this podcast? How can you use it to improve your English? This episode it is, is an introduction for new listeners and a reminder for long-term listeners. This is a podcast all about learning English through listening while having some fun in the process. Transcript available. That's page number, episode number 568. That's probably enough to be going along with. There are others as well, which you can always explore in my episode archive. Okay, so you could check out those. Question from you to me. Luke, where can I find all your episodes? Okay, now you can always find all my episodes in the archive on my website. That's in the section in the menu that says episodes. If you're watching on YouTube, not all the episodes are there on my YouTube channel. Okay, I've, this is episode 805, isn't it? Well, not all 805 episodes are on YouTube, just some of them. But all the rest, every single episode... Um, is in my episode archive on my website, including episode titles, uh, numbers, summaries of what's in each episode. And then on each page, you'll find an audio player where you can listen, a download button where you can download the MP3. And sometimes uh, you'll find vocabulary notes, transcripts uh, of some or all of the episode and more things like video versions as well. So teacherluke.co.uk slash episodes. That is the episode archive on my website. If you're ever wondering where all the episodes are, that's where you go. And it's also where you can find the names and numbers of episodes so you can then search for them in your podcasting app. Okay, as I have a drink of tea. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, a little bit of tea went down the wrong way. Ah, because I, I drank it too quickly. I drank it too quickly, listeners. Ah. 
No editing. <laughs> Just relax. Okay. Um, I'm trying to be zen. Oh, this is bad. Can you hear that? Deep breath. <sighs> and relax. Ah. <clears throat> so I'm drinking organic Japanese sencha, which is supposed to give you a sense of zen calm, isn't it? But it's hard to have that sense of zen calm when you've just inhaled some of the tea that you're drinking. Like, hmm, um, I will drink green tea. It'll put me in a nice zen sense of calm. <coughs> just make sure that you don't, you know, just, uh, uh, inhale it while you're drinking it. Anyway, here are some things you should know about how to listen to Luke's English podcast. Rule number one, use your ears. Obviously, you know that. But um, anyway, I've noticed from quite a lot of comments and emails recently that people don't know certain key information about my show. Okay? And I'm not talking about how to use it to learn English. I'm talking about like ap the absolute basics of just how to listen to it. Right? So let's just clarify a few things here about this podcast. Okay? So first thing is, there are free episodes and there are premium episodes, right? The free episodes, that's just Luke's English podcast. The, the premium episodes, that's Luke's English podcast premium or LEP premium, as I sometimes call it. So let's start with the free episodes. Well, free episodes are free. Yay. You're listening to a free episode right now. So how are you listening to this? I know, you're, I know you're using your ears, very funny, but how are you actually listening to the media? How are you listening to this content? Uh, I think most of you will be listening to this using a podcast app on your phone, okay? Probably the Apple Podcasts app on an iPhone. As far as I can tell from the data that I get from my podcast host, that is the most common platform that people use. It could be a podcast app on your phone. If you're using Android, you might be using a different app. Um, maybe you're listening to this on YouTube because, as I've said, I do upload uh, these uh, episodes onto YouTube, uh, usually with videos these days, sometimes with just a still image. Um, maybe you're listening on my website. Now, if you're listening using a podcast app on your phone, right, you know what a phone is, don't you? Uh, if you're listening using a podcast app on your phone, you might notice some advertising at the beginning, at the end, and in the middle of episodes, just for a you know for a little short little ad break. Now, this advertising helps me to continue doing the podcast, and also helps me to pay for essential things like rent and internet and food. Okay. Um, so that's the that's the free episodes, free with little bits of advertising. Although it depends where you are. A lot of you won't get those adverts. Depends on the region. Some of you, it seems, are in in places where uh, it, you're in areas where like advertisers just cannot access your marketplace, and so you're just out, you know. Uh, but you know, and maybe if you're in sort of certain European countries, if you're in the UK, the USA, Ireland. Australia, Japan, maybe uh, you might be getting a few adverts, which I, you know, I hope you're all right with that. You know, it's the it's the model. That's how I put food on the table. One of the ways, anyway. Okay, so that's free stuff. The premium episodes are only available if you sign up to LEP Premium for about four dollars a month, and this also helps me to pay for things like food clothes for my daughter, flowers for my wife, and loads of other things. You know, again, it's just another way for me to essentially uh, pay for pay for myself to stay alive and live my life. Okay. Um, so anyway, premium episodes are for premium subscribers, and they're usually about vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar. And there's less of this kind of rambling stuff that happens uh, in the premium episodes. I get down to business and really focus on uh, teaching you language, you know, I'd really put the time in and do it properly. 
uh, the premium episodes have PDFs. Okay? All premium episodes have PDFs. Now, some premium subscribers don't know how to find the PDFs. Maybe that's you. Maybe you think, yeah, I've signed up to Luke's English Podcast Premium, but I don't, I, I, where are the PDFs? And actually, where are the episodes? How do I do this? Some of you might be thinking that. Yeah. Some premium subscribers don't know how to find the PDFs. Now, I'll tell you more about premium a bit later, including the best way to listen to premium episodes and how to get the PDFs. And that's not just like a big promotion. That's genuinely information which I feel a lot of people don't know, surprisingly, um, and which um, I I think I should say in a free episode just to make sure that as many people get that information as possible. Okay, so uh, how to listen to the free episodes. Okay, so let's go, let's get back to basics here. So my show, this show, this podcast has always been uh, primarily an audio podcast, which most people listen to using a podcast app on their phone. Okay, so if you're if you're watching this on YouTube, this is this is this is an audio podcast. But I just happen to film myself recording the audio sometimes, and then put those videos on YouTube. But this is an audio podcast, and I always think of my uh, audience as uh, listening to the episodes probably on headphones without seeing me just like going about their lives listening to the podcast okay uh so you probably using a podcast app on a phone you can also listen to the episodes on my website and as i've said about a billion times already now i publish my episodes on youtube as well over the last couple of years i've been filming myself more and more with a webcam while recording my episodes and then putting those video versions on YouTube. Some of those YouTube videos have sort of gone viral and I've ended up being a kind of YouTuber as well. Normally the ones that go viral these days are ones where I'm... The, the ones that are called Learn English with a Short Story, where I read a short story and then break it down for language. Um, so, so, yes... So I've kind of ended up being a YouTuber as well. I've got like over 400,000 subscribers on YouTube now. But I still consider this show to be an audio podcast first and foremost, listening with listeners uh, using their podcast apps on their phone. And by the way, when I say a podcast app on your phone, I don't mean the Luke's English podcast app, which I think is still available in the App Store. I'm not talking about that app because that app is basically finished now episodes are no longer updating there so don't use the luke's english podcast app and it will probably completely disappear from the app store uh, later this year okay so that's not i'm not talking about the luke's english podcast app anymore i'm just talking about normal podcast apps on your phone this is fascinating podcasting isn't it listeners absolutely fascinating stuff i hope you agree okay well let's keep pressing forwards let's crack on and get through this okay so Sometimes there is more content in the audio versions of episodes. For example, if I have an interview with a guest, the video version might only contain the conversation, whereas the audio version will probably include an introduction and some talking from me at the end of the episode, perhaps a short ramble or some vocabulary explanations. So the audio episodes normally will contain more than the video ones. Sometimes they're the same. When it's possible, I add some text on the screen of video versions on YouTube so you can read while you listen. Okay, so where possible, you will also see some text on the screen. If I'm reading from text, you'll see it on the screen, but I don't do that every time. And if it's not a video version, you'll just get the audio track without the text on the screen. But automatic subtitles are available usually, on my YouTube videos. For some reason, sometimes YouTube just goes, uh -uh, no, sorry, not possible. No, subtitles, nah. That's what happens with YouTube sometimes, and I don't really know why. Something to do with the way the episodes are uploaded. I find that if my episodes get uploaded through a different software platform, 
often the, the subtitles won't work, even when I um, engage them in my YouTube dashboard. Whereas if I directly upload an episode to YouTube without going through another website or bit of software, if I go directly onto YouTube, the subtitles almost always work. I know. Anyway, but have I said this enough? This show is primarily an audio podcast. This is how I think of it. It's an audio show which you can listen to in the normal way. In the normal way, people listen to podcasts, which means using a podcast app on your phone. Most of you are listening like that. I've said this already, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, I'm going to go a bit basic here. I've, I've already said that as well, but never mind. And I'm going to explain what a podcast app is. What is a podcast app? The majority of you lis- the, the majority of you listening already know all of this stuff, so I'm just patronizing you now. You're just like, yeah, Luke, we already know. Uh. Um, so if you do already know this, then you know, keep listening, and instead what you can focus on is just the way that I'm describing all of this. How would you explain how to listen to a podcast to someone who has com- who who is <laughs> the, 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 the verb tense is going all over the place. How would you explain how to listen to a podcast to someone who is completely new to the whole thing? Imagine someone's like, someone's been, I don't know, um, in, uh, they've been cryogenically frozen. Like Walt Disney, who was cryogenically frozen in the 19 whenever, 60s or something, or 70s when he died. He's just been defrosted and brought back to life. And people keep talking to him about podcasts. And he's like, what is a, what is a podcast? Podcast. Because he's American. They, they call them podcasts. What is a podcast? You, <laughs> I don't think that's exactly how Walt Disney would speak. Anyway, he's going, what, what, are, what are these things called podcasts? And how do you listen to them? How would you explain it to him? Well, here's how I would do it. Okay, so for those of you who've just been defrosted after being cryogenically frozen for decades, or maybe you got, maybe like Captain America, you got like trapped in, in, in a block of ice for, for ages, which is pretty much the same thing as being cryogenically frozen. But anyway, for those of you who don't know, a podcast app is an app that you download free on your phone from the App Store. That's if you're using iOS, that's an Apple device, or the Play Store, if you're using Android and the, uh, yeah, the Android system. All right, it's just a podcast app you can download free. Lots of apps are available. As I said, check your phone. You might already have one. If you're an iOS, if you're on iOS, if you're on Apple, if you're on an Apple, are you sitting on an Apple? (laughs) Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm sat on my Apple. What? If you're on Apple, not if you're on an Apple, if you're on the Apple system, if you're on iOS, right, you can look for for the podcast app with the purple icon, the one that says podcasts, right? You could look for that. That's the Apple Podcasts um, app. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of that app, but it will work fine. Okay, so you could, if you're on iOS, you could search for the Apple Podcasts app, but you might need to download that one too, because I understand it doesn't come as standard on your phone anymore. There's mine. Um, If you're on Android, you might have Google uh, Google Podcasts, or maybe you've got another podcast app. Um, Or maybe you don't have a podcast app on your phone, in which case, download one. I I recommend Pocket Casts, Pocket Casts, okay? Just search for Pocket Casts in the App Store. So download uh, your podcast app, then search in the app for Luke's English Podcast, and then subscribe to it. And your life will just get better from then on. You have to listen to the episodes as well. Simply subscribing won't really help your English at all. It's not like a sort of magic app that just trans transmits English words and phrases into your head while you're sleeping. Unfortunately, that hasn't been developed yet, but I'm sure it's only around the corner, isn't it? Anyway, so download a podcast app, find Luke's English Podcast, subscribe to it, listen to the episodes. Of course, other podcasts are available. 
You know, there are plenty of other learning English podcasts out there. But, you know, who needs other podcasts, really, when you've got Luke's English podcast? I'm obviously joking. Um, Other podcasts are available. Uh, They may be your cup of tea, too. In addition to this, or even instead of this, perish the thought. Um, Now, new episodes will, will arrive in your podcast app every time I publish them. And it's super convenient. You can listen to episodes on headphones, recommended, or just blare them out on your phone. Just play them out loud on your phone on the back of the bus or something if you want to annoy everyone around you or perhaps help them learn English too. And I recommend that you listen on headphones and don't bother the people around you on public transport unless you want someone to smash your head in, which I don't recommend. Um, You can listen uh, when your phone is connected to Wi-Fi, when you're probably at home or maybe in the office when you should be working, right? Or you can listen when you're outside using your phone's data internet connection. You you know what the internet is, right? You've heard of that. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Podcast apps will also save your place in the episode if you press stop for some reason. Like, for example, you would like to stop listening to the episode. You just press stop and the podcast app will remember where you stopped. You don't have to start listening from the beginning again, right? So if you've you've pressed play and you're 42 minutes into the episode and you think, "I, I need to stop, but if I stop, then that's it. It's gone, isn't it? No, you can just come back to the podcast app and it'll remember where you were. Okay, the app will remember where you stopped. Then when you go back to the app later and start listening to that episode again, the app will remember where you stopped and you can carry on listening. Perfect. No need to worry about my episodes being too long anymore. That's just not a concern. No need to listen to the whole thing in one sitting. Not with the magic of podcasting apps. You know, the, um, recently I uploaded some uh, shorter episodes. So the three um, text adventure stories, the, the, the second one of those stories was only about 20 minutes long. The first one was maybe about 35 minutes long. Anyway, they were all significantly shorter than normal. And I thought, oh, I bet I'm sure everyone will be so pleased that I've uplo- finally I've uploaded some shorter content. And... Of course, one of the comments was, make it longer, dude. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so if I upload long episodes, people are like, I love your podcast, but uh, the episodes could be a bit shorter. If I upload shorter episodes, people are saying, could you make the episodes longer? So, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, there are also other advantages to using a podcast app on your phone, including being able to add my premium episodes to the app as well if you sign up. Mm? That's right. When you sign up to LEP Premium, the whole idea is that you can add all those premium episodes to your episode list in your podcast app of choice. So you get all the free episodes, and then when I've uploaded premium ones, they go in there too. Yes, that's how that works. I'll explain more about that in a minute. Now, a lot of people use Spotify to listen to podcasts. Great. Uh... The only problem there is that you can't add premium episodes to Spotify because it's not a normal podcast app. Spotify is like special. And so the system of adding premium episodes to your podcast app, uh, that just doesn't work with Spotify because Spotify is all special. Okay, so there you go. Just need, I needed you to know that. And I've said this already, but I'm going to say it again. By the way, I'm not talking about the Luke's English Podcast app here. A lot of you have downloaded the Luke's English Podcast app on your phones, right? It's it's listed in the App Store as Luke's English Podcast app, and it might appear on your phone simply as LEP. You'll see my icon and LEP, but don't use the LEP app anymore. No, it's defunct. New episodes are no longer arriving there, and in a few months, it will disappear from the App Store. So you can forget about the Luke's English Podcast app now. I know. It's sad. We had some good times. 
but it's not the end of the world because you can continue listening in any other normal podcast app, as I've said. Right. So let me talk a little bit about Luke's English Podcast Premium. And as I said before, this is not a promotion, okay? This is just information which a lot of people don't know. And I just need you to know this. There's no pressure to sign up to my premium subscription or anything, okay? It's totally up to you. Of course, I hope you do, but it's up to you, of course, right? By the way, premium people, new episodes are coming, including some story time episodes, all right? So if you're thinking, where are the premium episodes? They're coming. So I'm constantly getting emails and messages from people saying things like this. They say, Luke, I've signed up to LEP Premium, but how do I listen? And how do I get the PDFs? Uh, And I just feel like a surprising number of people out there are somehow missing out on basic information, which you just have to know. uh, Because if you don't know this information, I might just go a bit mad and I'll stick bananas in my ears. And then everyone will say to me, hey, Luke, you've got bananas in your ears. And I'll say, what? And then they'll say, Luke, you've got bananas in your ears. And I'll say, sorry, what? And they'll say, why have you got bananas in your ears? And I'll say, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I've got bananas in my ears. Hey, little joke there. Thanks to Michael Rosen. Michael Rosen, the author of uh, many wonderful books for children. And that little joke is in one of uh, uh, the books that we have at home. Thank you, Michael. Now, so that's what will happen if everyone continues not to know certain basic information about my podcast. I'll just go completely bonkers and I'll put fruit in um, different parts of my body. Don't let that happen. Don't let that escalate. Okay, so... Uh, let me explain as quickly and clearly as possible. Then we'll move on to some ramblings about other, perhaps more entertaining matters. So the best way to listen to premium episodes is to add LEP Premium to a podcast app on your phone. And everyone's going, all right, okay, got it, Luke. Add LEP Premium to a podcast app on my phone. Good. Um, But what does that mean? (laughs) How do I do that? Okay, let's say you're using Apple Podcasts to listen to the normal free episodes of Luke's English Podcast. And you've decided it's time to also listen to the premium content to push your English further. Maybe one day you just say to yourself, hey, I think it's time to also listen to the premium content to push my English further. That's what you say to yourself. But then you think to yourself, but what do I do? Where do I go? And crucially, how do I get those precious PDFs? Okay, so let's say you've gone to teacherluke.co.uk slash premium on your phone and you've signed up to LEP Premium and you're logged on to Acast Plus. That's the platform I use for the premium subscription. Let's say you've done that, right? Then you'll see that you have the option when you've logged into your Acast Plus account, you can see Luke's English Podcast Premium. You'll see that you have the option to listen now or Add show to app. Hmm. If you, li- if you tap listen now, you'll see a list of all the episodes and you can play them and listen to them. That's all the episodes, including the premium ones. But this is not a convenient way to listen. That's how you listen in a browser. And that's what happens if you, si- if you sign in on a computer. You'll just see the- a list of episodes. You can play them, but crucially, you can't see the episode show notes, right? Okay. So, uh, so what you need to do is you need to, when you've gone to teacherluke.co.uk slash premium on your phone and you're signed in, you've got listen now or add show to app. Tap add show to app. Just tap it now. Go for it. Click it. Tap it. Tap that. And you can choose the podcast app, which you have on your phone and which you use to listen to the free episodes. See? Add podcast app. Add to podcast app. And in which podcast app? Apple Podcasts, uh, g- uh, Google Podcasts, uh, Pocket Casts, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, I'm using uh, Apple Podcasts, so I click Apple Podcasts. Pow! So, let's say you're using Apple Podcasts. Let's use that as an example. Where it says, add show to podcast, you then tap Apple Podcasts. 
and the Apple Podcasts app will magically open on your phone, giving you the option to subscribe to the new Luke's English Podcast feed. It's Luke's English Podcast. Learn British English with Luke Thompson Plus. Okay, that's the one with the premium stuff. So that will open, giving you the option to add it or subscribe to it. Okay, so there, do it. Okay, subscribe to it. You've already paid. You've put your card details in and stuff. What are you waiting for? Add Luke's English Podcast Premium to Apple Podcasts. Just go for it. What's the worst thing that could happen? Okay, so I'm assuming you've done that. Now, you've upgraded your LEP episode list on Apple Podcasts. It's upgraded. It's now the LEP Plus uh, list. And you will now be able to find the premium episodes in your list. Before, it was just the free episodes. Now, the list includes the premium episodes too. Celebrate. It's like a miracle or something. Now, I think at this point, it would be appropriate to spare a thought for those Lepsters who are unable to sign up to LEP Premium on Acast Plus. Yes, because a lot of Lepsters out there are not able to do it. Probably because of two possibilities. So either, and this is possibility one, either Acast, that's my podcast host, either Acast has been blocked by your government because they think that Luke's English Podcast and Luke's English Podcast Premium are just far too dangerous for people to listen to because, heaven forbid, I might talk about things which perhaps directly contradict the version of reality which they are trying to pull over your eyes. Luke's English podcast is just too real for those governments to handle. So they're like, quick, block, block it. Don't let people listen to that. It's too dangerous. Okay, maybe that, that's possibility one. Or possibility number two, why you're unable to sign up to Acast plus Luke's English podcast premium. Possibility two is because your credit card will not work for international payments because your country is being sanctioned because your government is being very naughty indeed. In any case, if you can't access LEP Premium, I am sorry. Okay? But have a word with your government. Okay? Have a word. But don't get thrown in jail. Okay? Don't get thrown in jail, please. I know that's easier said than done. Because if you do go to your government, so knock on the door or whatever you have to do, like, you know, shout at them in the street. I don't know what you have to do. You know, uh, ah, stop doing those naughty things. We want to listen to Luke's English podcast, podcast premium, for goodness sake. And like, right, you in jail now. Try not to get thrown in prison. I know that's easier said than done. But I don't know. I don't I. I don't want to casually suggest that you all rise up in some kind of revolution or something and have a you know a big fight with the police and stuff you know that someone's going to get hurt someone's going to get there are you know someone's going to someone's going to get a twisted ankle um someone might get a knock on the head I don't want that to happen um I don't want to casually suggest that you just start a revolution and overthrow the people who run your country because you simply cannot allow this madness to continue and you simply must be allowed to sign up to Luke's English Podcast Premium on Acast Plus. This is obviously going to be the big driver. This is going to be the flashpoint for revolution in whichever country you're listening to that doesn't allow you to sign up because of bloody bloody blah. It's going to be Luke's English podcast that makes the difference. Um, but anyway, this is up to you. I will let you weigh up the risks and potential benefits, the pros and cons, and let, I'll let you make your own decision. But good luck in any case. Okay. But let's say you've signed up to Luke's English podcast premium and you've successfully added the episodes to your podcast app of choice. Things are looking good for you lucky you. The premium episodes are now in your list, along with the other episodes. It might not be obvious at first, 
but they are there, just waiting to be discovered and listened to. You might have to scroll down the list and find them. But how can you find them? Well, as I've just said, you'll need to scroll down through the list a little bit. Just scroll down through the list and bingo, you'll see them. There they are. All the premium episodes, they all start with P and a number like P42, P41, P40, P39. You get the idea. You know how numbers work. So they all begin with a P and then a number. Some premium episodes have the word premium at the start in those kind of square brackets. That's how you know that it's a premium episode. It's got P or the word premium at premium at the beginning. Premium episodes P1 to P36 were, were all added in July 2022. And they can be found between free episodes number 776 and 777. There between them is a load of premium content, P1 to P36. So scroll down to episode 777 and look under it. See, look, loads of premium episodes are there um, if you've signed up uh, to uh, LEP Premium and if you don't live in a country where the government, you know. Uh, okay, now. Okay, hello, hello, everyone. Right, all this stuff about podcast apps and the premium episodes, all this stuff that's going to stop in a, in a couple of minutes, okay? I, I promise. Try not to get impatient. I know you're like, Christ's sake, Luke, when are you going to stop t- talking about this? I told you, didn't I? I, I as, as I brandish a wooden fork. I told you. I needed everyone to know this. Oh, God. I need to open the window again. It's getting heated. I'm getting passionate here. <laughs> I hope you're not getting impatient. But I did need everyone to know this. Now, another crucial question. What about the PDFs for those premium episodes? This is the question that people email me all the time. I've signed up to the premium, but where are the PDFs? How do I get the PDFs? Okay, so the links for the PDFs can be found in the show notes for each premium episode. Hmm. Now, you might be thinking, thanks a lot for the info, Luke, but uh, what are show notes? Okay. You're thinking, show notes? What is show notes? Um, okay, show notes. What is show notes? Okay, that's, that's, that's not working. But... Okay, I'm going to edit. I'm not edit. I'm going to cut that out, the, a bit of text. Never mind. You're thinking, what, Luke? What? What? Cut? What? Never mind. It's all right. <laughs> I can't edit. I'm not allowed to edit these rambling episodes. So never mind. Let's just keep going. Anyway. So what are show notes for podcast episodes? This is the question. Okay, so in podcast apps, all podcast episodes have some text notes. This is where podcasters like me can add maybe a summary of the episode or some links to other things online. So every single episode is going to have some notes associated with it. So see if you can find the show notes or episode notes for each episode. Go on, like have a look right now. Let's do it together. So I'm going to go in my phone. I'm going to open up Pocket Casts. And what am I looking at? Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So recent episodes. Okay. You know what? I'm going to open up um, uh, an episode. I'm going to open up my fluent podcast, um, Learn with a Learner. I'm opening that up in Pocket Casts. My fluent podcast is a podcast by... Uh, a Lepster called Daniel Goodson from Switzerland. And Daniel uh, is an English learner himself, and he does a podcast all about uh, learning languages and a lot of English learning stuff as well. So if we open up my fluent podcast in Pocket Casts, and the most recent episode um, is episode 122, uploaded on Sunday a few days ago, and it's called Personal Storytelling, Tell Your Story and Improve Yourself. Okay, for, with Fabio Carpelloni from the Stolaroid podcast. And so there's, so I've clicked on that episode and then I've got the logo, I've got a play button. And then I've, if I scroll, if I pull the page up, 
bingo hello there are the show notes and it's like text associated with the episode okay and it's a summary of what's included in the episode thanks for the summary daniel very useful including oh daniel's very good i mean he's swiss so of course he's very thorough and everything's very precisely done (laughs) um so there are of course there are um time codes for the episode where he maps out exactly what's contained within. It's a very good podcast, I have to say. Um, so anyway, right, you get the idea. So, yeah, that's where, if you're a premium subscriber, the show notes, that's where you'll find the links for the PDFs. So you just, like, P42, tap the epi- tap P42, you can listen to it there, and also just drag the page up or maybe tap where it says notes and you'll see the text notes and that's where you'll see uh, links for the PDFs and links for video versions if there are any. Now, some of you are saying, come on, come on, Luke. I know where the show notes are. Like, uh. Okay, then, if you know where they are, find them right now and look at them and then say to yourself, yes, I know where the show notes are. Thank you, Luke. Good. Right. If you don't know, I want you to find them right now. So on Apple Podcasts, while you have an episode selected, if it's one of mine, you'll see the LEP logo and the name of the episode and a play button. Just drag the screen up with your thumb, probably, if you've got one. Uh, Drag the screen up with your thumb or a finger or your nose. Probably Probably a thumb or finger is best. And then the notes will be revealed below. Again, it's like magic or a miracle or something. It's an actual miracle. Thanks, Jesus. Thank you. Um, Listeners, one of my New Year's resolutions is actually to have more fun in my episodes again. Because life is too short. I say again. I mean, I always have fun in my episodes. But there was a time when I was doing this podcast and I, I didn't really care I did care, but I, what I mean is that I didn't, I didn't take it too seriously. That's what I mean. I didn't care too much about what people would think, and I was just willing to just be stupid and f- kind of funny. So that's one of my New Year's resolutions, to just be funny. Now, I say that as a resolution. We know, don't we, that we make these resolutions and then we don't keep to them. We think, right, I'm going to sprint three, 300 miles a day every day for the entire year and for the rest of my life and then you know after trying it once we're like yeah i think i'll just stay at home and watch tv so i am committed to having more irreverent fun on this podcast but i'm sure that at some point uh, i'll do some more serious episodes too i'll i like to mix it up you know but i certainly would like to inject more fun now i, I i've said that i'd like to do more fun episodes but Just the other day, I was doing some planning to do an episode about what's been happening in Iran recently. And that's, I don't think there's anything fun to be said about that. And the reason I've been planning to talk about the situation in Iran is because I've just had so many emails and messages from people sort of saying, why aren't you talking about Iran? Please talk about what's happening in Iran. We need the world to know. Oh, that's a, that's a complicated thing, but I'm going to probably do that. So that that will be serious. But then other episodes will be fun. Variety. Hmm. What a, it's it's difficult transition <laughs> to go from funny, stupid nonsense to very something very serious. Oh, back to funny, serious nonsense. But that is the line that I walk. And that's what I am committed to continuing to do on this show. Okay. So, yeah. The notes. That's where you'll find links to download the PDF for the episode, for premium episodes. You'll see in the show notes, blah, 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 links. Tap one of the links, open the PDF and read it while you listen or send it to your computer where you can study it more carefully and annotate it with a PDF reader or even print it on paper in the old fashioned way and then use a pencil to do the tasks. Okay? Okay. And if you're not signed up to Luke's English Premium, no, Luke's English Podcast Premium, Hello, that's fine. That's fine. You don't have to sign up to the premium service if you don't want to. 
if you can't afford to or if you're not allowed to due to confusing global events and the actions of powerful men who sit at tables deciding your future. If you can't, that's just so be it. I st if you're not a premium subscriber, you are still absolutely a lepster and you can still enjoy all the free episodes and all the rest of it until, of course, the thought police completely turn off your access to the internet. Which country are you talking about, Luke? Well, whichever country is doing that. Now, there are also show notes for all the free episodes too. And at this point, many, for many of you, I am basically teaching my grandmother to suck eggs, which is an expression in English to, to teach your grandma or to teach your grandmother to suck eggs basically means teaching someone who's an expert at something, teaching that person how to do something that they already know how to do and they, they've been doing it all their lives. So many of you like, like hello, you've just spent 97 minutes explaining how to find show notes for a podcast. Uh, yeah, well, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching my grandmother how to suck eggs. I've talked about that expression before. Why would, you, why, why would you teach your grandmother to suck eggs? And why would she already be brilliant at sucking eggs? I don't, you know, like grandmas in England don't suck eggs all the time. It's like, oh, you know, where's grandma? She's just over there, sucking eggs again. Yeah. All right, grandma. And your grandma's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a strange expression. We don't suck eggs and grandmas don't suck eggs either. So I don't know. Anyway. I, d I don't mean to teach my grandmother to suck eggs here. Uh, I'm, as I said before, I'm just, <laughs> I've just got to get this essential information across to my audience. Now, uh, again, if you're listening on a podcast, in a podcast app, have a look. You'll always find a link in the show notes for the episode. You will always find a link to the episode page. That's where you can read. That's a page on my website, right? That's quite useful, my website, because it's got pages for every single episode and that's where you can read any vocab notes you can find the associated youtube video if there is one and other information that i mentioned in the episode and also once you're on my website you can easily find the episode archive to find that whole list of all the other ones okay oh my gosh oh dear right we're not done. We're not done yet. There's, I, there's still other stuff that's on my mind that I wanted to get off my chest. And you're thinking, wait a minute, Luke, if it's on your mind, why do you need to get it off your chest? That's a very good question. <laughs> They're just two expressions. They don't quite match up, do they? We don't have things on, my, on our chests in English. It's like, what's the matter? You seem a little bit, you know, you say to your friend, What's the matter? You seem a little bit sort of, um, I don't know, you seem maybe a little depressed or something. It's like, I've just got a lot of things on my chest. Mm, no, you've got a lot of things on your mind. It's like, yeah, maybe you should talk about it, you know, just, you know, get them off your mind. No, 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 no. I need to get them off my chest. But I thought they were on your mind. Yeah, they are on my mind. But then I need to like, <laughs> suck them down to my chest and then <laughs> get them off my chest. I don't know how they, how it would, you know. Languages are strange and slightly surreal things sometimes, um, and English is no exception. Anyway, I've got other things on my mind which I would like to get off my chest, so here are some more things. So the next section of this ramble, how many of you are still listening? If you're still listening, leave a comment in the comments section. And say, hello, Luke. Um, what are you going to say? I am, I am not a skeleton. That's all you need to say. That's going to be strange. I'm not a skeleton. Happy New Year, Luke. You could do that. How many of you will? I don't know. It's embarrassing now. If I say, if you're still listening, just write, I'm not a skeleton. And then you, other people will be looking in the comment section. Like, I wonder how many uh, people have written, I'm not a skeleton. Like, no one. No. <laughs> oh, no, no one. No one got to this point. They all just perished sometime, probably about 30 minutes ago. But not you. You're still here. You're not a skeleton. Congratulations. A great way to begin 2023 by having flesh, living flesh still attached to your bones. Good for you. So next bit, YouTube comments slash keeping my episodes varied 
slash I'm the boss round here. And yes, I am a powerful man who sits at a table and decides your future. Okay, so now we're talking about YouTube, which is another platform entirely where I also publish my episodes. Some of you are on YouTube right now. Hello. Okay. So, uh, YouTube is where I publish my stuff as well, either in video format, where you can see me talking, if that's your cup of tea, or you can just listen to episodes without video on YouTube and maybe switch on the automatic subtitles. Ha ha ha. And don't forget to smash that like button and click the bell icon and all that jazz as well. Subscribe to the podcast, etc. Leave a comment, uh, smash the like button. Don't forget to uh, hit the bell icon as well. Okay, guys? Okay, just uh, went all YouTube there for a second. Now, one thing about being on YouTube is that there are more comments. This is because it's much easier to comment on YouTube than it is if you are in audio land which means listening on a podcast app on your phone, probably. On YouTube, the comment section is right there. And it's an integral part of the YouTube experience, the comments. So, people comment a lot more, which is great. It's lovely to get your feedback, and it's encouraging when people respond to what you're doing. Sometimes it's amazing, especially if people write genuinely positive and appreciative things. Okay, it's mostly great, but sometimes I have to admit it's a bit irritating. As you know, if you are a human being, the negative things tend to stick with us a lot more, a bit more, a lot more, a bit more. I'm going to say a lot more. No, I'm not. I'm going to say a bit more. The negative things tend to stick with us a bit more than the positive things don't you think? Like, for example, I don't know, you're at work, you've done, you've had an appraisal with your boss, that's like a six-monthly meeting with your boss where you sit down, talk about your performance. Your boss says, oh, you know, I'd just like to talk about your performance over the last six months and you're maybe assessed on different areas of your performance or you're just given some general feedback. Here are some things you've done really well this year. Here are some things that you're not doing, you know, that you could improve. Now, depending on the way that your boss communicates it, a good boss will take those negatives and spin them so that they aren't, they don't make you feel bad. But anyway, in any situation when you get sort of praise, good points, and then people criticise you, for some reason it's the criticisms that stick with you and bother you, right? That's just because we're humans and that's how we work. Um, the negative things stick with us more. By and large, my audience, like any audience of learners of English, it seems, is incredibly thankful and appreciative, which is lovely. But naturally, there are some people who are not so thoughtful and who write comments which probably tell us more about them than they do about the content that they're commenting on. You know what I mean, right? Now, while I do believe it is really important to take criticisms on board, to consider them and to learn from them, some comments are just a bit annoying. (laughs) Which comments? Well, obviously just abusive or directly rude comments are just the kind of bird shit on the window of life, you know? But there are some comments which are not exactly abuse, but which just show a certain lack of consideration for the content creator. Now, I'm not going to list all the things that irritate me, because what's the point? And there are many more positive things which I probably should be focusing on, but my stupid human brain just snaps to the negative things. That's not to encourage those negative trolls. Oh, he likes the negative stuff. (laughs) No. I'm not going to list all the things that irritate me, because what's the point? But one thing I have noticed is when I upload an episode, let's say it's a story episode, and the comment is, Oh, I miss I miss your rambling episodes, which means I don't like the story episodes, do rambling episodes. Or or it'll be please make content about phrasal verbs, which is another way of saying I don't like this content, make this content instead. Um or please make short videos, 
like don't say please or stop saying thank you. Please make content like that. Okay, or I upload a rambling episode or I upload something about phrasal verbs or whatever and someone comments, make more stories. We want stories. Or I'd, uh, or, or maybe I do an Amber and Paul episode and the comment is, we want a Rick Thompson report. You know, you get the idea. So the point is that I do a variety of episodes and I've always tried to keep the episodes varied, right, for the whole time I've been doing this podcast. Um, I'm never going to just do the one type of thing. Well, maybe when I'm older, when I'm, you know, when I'm just tired and I'm like, oh, I think I'll just... I think for the next 10 years, I think I'll just do stories. I'll just read stories on the podcast. That's it. Maybe that will happen, but not for the foreseeable future. I want to keep doing the same variety that I have been doing since I started this, right? Uh, And that's for lots of reasons. First reason, I'd like to keep doing various different types of episodes where you're not quite sure what you're going to get each time. And it's not just exactly the same format every time. The reasons for that is, one, you can't please all the people all the time. So, for example, you might think that one type of episode is the best, but plenty of others will think that another type of episode is the best. So in the end, folks, I decide, all right, I'm in charge around here, okay? Also, keeping things varied keeps me motivated. I like to have conversations with people on the podcast. I like to do rambles on the podcast. I like to do stories. I really love doing the story ones. I like to explain jokes. I like to do ones about this, that and the other. You know, I like to do all, I want to have the option to do all of those different things because that's that keeps me motivated and interested. And if I'm motivated and interested in this, then I think the, the episodes will be motivating and interesting for you, I think. Uh, also, it's important for you to hear a variety of things right? It's good for your English to hear variety in English, not just stories, not just teaching phrasal verbs and so on, but also conversations with guests that have different types of English, different regional accents and stuff on different subjects. Also, monologues about different topics, some easier episodes, some episodes which are more difficult and so on. Okay? And I don't think anyone thinks about thinks about this, about making my episodes. No one thinks about this more than I do. I think. I'm sh- Yeah, come on. It's got, I've got to be the one who thinks about it more than anyone. I think people who are writing, make content like this, they're just not thinking at all. And they just, they just think that I'm chat GPT or whatever it's called. And they can just input a command and I'll just gladly do it, of course. No, there's a whole decision-making process going on here as well. You can probably tell, listeners, that, yeah, I, got, I, felt, I felt a little bit sensitive over the last month or so since I got sick with flu and that kind of meant that I was a bit depressed and haven't been getting enough sunlight and just sort of you feel a bit depressed and irritable and then you check, you know, I'm compuls- I compulsively check my um, phone and I look at comments that I'm receiving and some of the negative ones, yeah, just... Those are the things I need to get off my chest. I've literally just checked my YouTube studio app. And it's nice. It's all nice comments. Congratulations, Luke. This is from Coney. Coney. Uh, I can't say the full name. Maybe I shouldn't anyway. Uh, congratu- this is a comment on episode 800, part one. Congratulations, Luke. It really shows all the effort, dedication, and passion you put into every single episode. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your talent with all of us. You're really making the world a better place. Well, that's nice. That that is very nice. Thank you. And that was that was 23 minutes ago. 25 minutes ago, uh, Ali wrote on episode 739, which was the short story, "The Escaped Man." Thank you a lot for your generosity. I like this type of teaching very much. Please do it more. I will. I will do more stories. Uh, Rosetta, 52 minutes ago, commented on on episode 802, The Unopened Safe. Interesting story. Agatha Christel, Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie would give you the correct answer. (laughs) Ha ha, true. Thank you and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, Rosetta. 
And then an hour ago, someone wrote in Turkish. <laughs> they wrote it in Turkish and it, I've just translated it. Uh-oh. You speak very fast. If I was English, I would have trouble understanding it. It's not true. Sorry, that's not true. That was on episode 724, The Mountain, which was another short story. Uh, you can see the ones that are popular on YouTube. Uh, if, 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 if this person was English, you reckon that an English person would have trouble understanding me? Sorry, no. Sorry. I, that's what I should do in my head when I get a negative comment. I should just be like, ah, no, sorry, next. But instead, some of them are like, huh? I think about them too much. Lafita, an hour ago, episode 804, The Missing Masaccio. Uh, a very, very happy new year, dear Luke, to your family too. Kissy, kissy. Oh, very nice. Okay. All right. So, you know, I don't know what I'm worrying about. I'm overreacting to just the occasional negative comment. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, yes, my episodes are not always exactly perfect, but there is no such thing as perfect, and it's a fruitless mission to try and chase perfection. And then I've written here, ah, shit, I feel like I'm being too negative now, and also overthinking everything. Oh, well. Okay, so that's that bit. Next section, and I'm going to stop soon, because I, as usual, I have to go and pick up my daughter from school. But the next section is this, is my show blocked in China? Is my show blocked in China? Hello, listeners in China. I think that my podcast is blocked there. How do I know this? Well, first of all, so China always has always been one of my top countries. So when I go to my dashboard for my podcast host, I go. that's where I upload my episodes and manage the whole thing. I also get statistics from there, which tell me the countries where I'm popular. The numbers, like literally numbers of downloads in those countries. And China has always been in my top three countries, right? Uh, but then recently I noticed, wait, where's China? Where's China gone? Where's China gone from my list? And phew, China just disappeared. Uh, if I look at the whole year, or if I look at my stats for all time, which is what I normally look at, I like to get a really big picture of my stats. If I look at them for all time, then China is still up there. But then since... I think it's since October uh, of 2022. If I look at individual months or individual episodes in that in that this recent period, China's just gone. It's still there, but it's very low down in the list, dropped way down. So clearly, people are not able to access my podcast in China. And either that or Chinese people have just gone. You know what? We're we're done. I'm done with Luke's English podcast. But I don't think so. I don't think that's what's happened. I think that people just suddenly can't access it. I went on to um, Apple Podcast, like the, the website, the iTunes website listing for Luke's English Podcast in China. That's if you use the CN um, code in the URL. I found the iTunes page for Luke's English Podcast, the China version of iTunes, and it's still there. It's still listed, but the episodes don't play as far as I can tell. Um, and I've, I, I know that by reading the reviews. And there are quite a lot of reviews from Chinese listeners who are giving me five stars. Thanks, guys. But then in the review, it says, I love this podcast, but unfortunately, the episodes won't play anymore. What's going on? Um, and um, basically, various different types of sort of research that I've done into this show me that uh, the podcast is now blocked in, in China, as far as I can tell. So that's a pity, isn't it? That is a pity. Now, why is it a pity? Well, obviously, it's a pity because a lot of my people, a lot of my lepsters in China are now unable to listen to the show, which is a pity. You know, it's it's a pity because, you know, I, I, I like to have my extended Luke's English podcast family. And it's like a whole section of the family is, has been shut out and is unable to join the party. Uh, and also those people... Now, you know, getting a, a, a more limited view of the world, apparently, as I suppose, as China sort of controls the Internet in China, where it, you know, it restricts what the Internet clearly and carefully restricts 
what uh, people are allowed to access. So I think you, if you are in China, I think you can still listen to my show if you're using a VPN. But I think, you know, even with VPNs, sometimes the kind of government realizes that VPNs are being used and shuts down some VPN services. And so people have to find another way to listen. So if you are a listener in China, let me know what the situation is. Is the podcast blocked? Um, you know, if you are listening in China, how do you listen? I think there are some apps in China that still somehow have access to my podcast feed. And so you can listen in those special apps. But like the big conventional ways like Apple Podcasts in China, mm -mm, no, not possible anymore. Uh, Pocket Casts is not available in China as far as I know. Uh, so people have to kind of use special ways and they have to work extra hard to get um, to get access to my podcast, which is, again, a pity. So um, Chinese Lepsters, um, let me know what's going on uh, in terms of being able to listen to the podcast. Uh, that would be good. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, everyone else seems to be doing fine. Well, I say everyone else seems to be doing fine. Of course, there's lots of terrible things going on around the world. Good luck out there. May the force be with you. Bon courage, as they say in France. Good luck. Um, oh, I heard this thing the other day. This is a, a tangent. I heard this thing um, the other day when I was listening to an, another podcast. Nothing is real, the Beatles podcast. They were just sort of having a ramble. And they were talking about in South Korea. Apparently in South Korea, you're all going to get older. Like everyone gets a year older. Pow! On... What was it? The 1st of January? Am I right in thinking this? Uh, listeners, if you're in South Korea, you can confirm or deny. This obviously must be a very big thing over there. But uh, I hadn't really heard anything about it. But So here's the thing, listeners, right? As far as I understand it, in South Korea, uh, they used to define your age differently. So I think that in South Korea, when you're born, you're one. Right, so you start off as uh, at one, <laughs> okay, and so basically that means all South Koreans are all like older than everyone else. I'm 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 confused. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I I know that's true because I've met lots of South Korean people teaching English to them in London, and South Korean people are, are, are one when they're born, whereas. For most of the other countries around the world, you're you're zero when you're born, aren't you? And you then live your first year, and then then you know a year later you have your first birthday and you're one um okay but it's i guess for south koreans it might be a bit weird to consider that you can have a whole year of your life when you're essentially zero <laughs> um but i understand that the government has changed that recently right and so they've they've all they've switched the the way it's worked out so wait have you be all become older by a year or if, or if you lost a year and become a year younger. I don't know. Again, South Korean Lepsters, get in the comment section and let me know if any of you are still listening to this and you're not just skeletons. Um, okay, right. I think that, I, think that I, I need to stop now. I've got other notes here. Um, I was going to talk about some other things, but really that's, that's all we've got time for. Um, thank you for listening all the way up to this point. Should I say sorry for like talking about podcast apps and LEP Premium for a long time? No, I will not say sorry. I thought that was very important information that I needed you to know. And now you know, although some some people will have not listened to that because they were like, yeah, no, I would not do not want this. And they would have stopped. And then they would be emailing me going, but how do I, where are, the, where are the PDFs? It's just, that's just the way it is, isn't it? It's just the way it is. Um, coming soon to Luke's English Podcast, I have a variety of episodes. I've got episodes in the pipeline, which I have to publish. I've got some episodes that I've been sitting on for ages, and they've got to go out. They've got to get published. So I've got a few... Um, conversa I've got three conversations that are already recorded. Um, one is with a, um, uh, a pop star who plays guitar in a band called The Wedding Present. You may have heard of The Wedding Present if you're a fan of 90s British music. And also, he also plays guitar in a band called Sleeper. 
uh, John Stewart, his name is, he's an academic, he's a lecturer, he's done a PhD, and he runs a master's degree, degree course about popular music. And he's written a book about Bob Dylan and John Lennon and Karl Marx and God. It's like a really wide-ranging book. I think it's fascinating. I had an interview with him in October, and uh, I've been sitting on the interview. I've been sitting on the episode since October because I've just haven't found the right moment to publish that kind of episode. It's quite, quite complex and quite academic, and also quite a specific cultural topic. I just didn't find the right moment to publish it in the run up to Christmas, but that's going to come out soon. Um. You know, it's a bit Beatle oriented and a bit pop music oriented. Uh, it might be a bit sort of, uh, might only be for certain listeners that one. But anyway, that's going to come out soon. Um, James Harris uh, is back on the podcast soon. He's um, he's someone who was on the podcast before. Uh, James Harris is a writer and comedian and also a language learner. He speaks uh, good German, good French, and he's learning Chinese. He's married to a Chinese woman. So I talked to James about, well, a a little catch-up about his languages, and uh, we talk about what it's like trying to to learn Chinese and also being married to a Chinese woman. He's English. And also, he's written a book as well. Um, He's written a semi-autobiographical book, and so he tells us about the book and reads a few passages from it as well. So that's coming. And also I spoke to, check, check this out, right? I spoke to the managing director of the English language teaching division of Oxford University Press. Oxford University Press, that's a big publishing company, academic publishing company. Um, and Oxford, OUP is one of the big institutions in English language teaching and lots of the books and course books and things and also online um, uh, resources and tests and things are uh, sort of done by OUP. And I managed to speak to the managing director of the English language teaching division of OUP. That's, that's, he's kind of like the big boss, the big boss of English teaching. I spoke to him. And the thing is, we didn't really even talk about publishing. We just talked about his learning of English because he's from Spain and uh, English is not his first language. He never learned it as a child. Well, sort of took some lessons at school, which didn't really work for him. Uh, but he's gone on to become kind of like the bot. Well, you know, he's, he's gone on to get this very high position in um, the English language teaching industry, working for Oxford University Press. So we actually talk about how he learned English himself and the sort of journey and struggle that he's gone through. Uh, I f- think that episode is really fascinating. That might come next. It might be the next episode. Those three are all recorded and uh, due to be published. But also I've got other stuff I want to do. I mentioned that I wanted to do something about Iran because I just wanted to talk about some of the things that have been happening there. Essentially there what I'll do is read from a couple of articles about the situation. It's, it's very serious. It'll be kind of a serious episode, uh, but I'll read through some articles and, you know, it'll be a chance to consider what's happening there, to talk about it, to kind of spread the word a bit for what it's worth. And um, also we'll look at some language, some vocab that comes out of the article. So that'll be a, an article. Also, I found another interesting article online uh, which is entitled The Best Way to Learn a Language According to Research. So we'll go through that article and I'll give my comments. And then I've got I've got just loads and loads of other ideas and, and things in the pipeline, including more story stuff, more interviews with other people, um, some funny things, um, 88 English Expressions That Will Confuse Everyone, Part 3. That's only taken me about three years to uh, to finally do. I still haven't done it. So, but anyway, that's in the pipeline and plenty of other stuff. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support during 2022, this year which is now behind us. Thank you so much for sticking with Luke's English podcast. Thank you for your comments and your messages. Thanks for the positivity. I'm very happy if my podcast has uh, maintained your focus and interest in the English language in um, a slightly less conventional way, let's say. 
but um, I've really enjoyed it. I want to keep enjoying it. So let's continue to learn English together. Although I kind of already know how to speak English, but you know, I'll help you do it too. And have some fun in the process because fun is an absolutely essential ingredient in this recipe of creating a really good English learning cake. Okay, so let's make a really good English learning cake. We'll cook it together and then we'll eat it together and we'll have a great English learning cake park party. Okay, right, it really is time for me to stop this. Thank you for listening. I will speak to you in the next episode, but for now it's time to say goodbye. Bye, 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 bye.